Hi, we're going to talk a few minutes about soil sampling. Soil sampling is really an important process of plant health. No plant will be any healthier than the soil that it's growing in. That's a pretty logical, common sense uh, approach to growing anything. And knowing what your soil is and, and being able to take the right steps to match the soil to the plant you're growing will result in not only healthy, beautiful plants, but you'll have a lot less need to use any type of additional chemicals to support that plant. If the soil's healthy, the plants will be healthy. And if the plants are healthy, they generally have a lot less problems with insects and diseases and pests and all those kinds of things. Uh, soil sampling has been around for a long time. It's certainly been used in the agricultural community for a long time, and really it has its basis in the agricultural community. It's only been in the last several decades that the whole notion of soil testing has moved into the landscaping or ornamental horticultural industry or the green industry, that portion of the green industry. Uh, there are different types of tests out there. Uh, there are different types of labs that do that. Many states, uh, their state agricultural school uh, will provide that service, uh, sometimes free of charge, sometimes for minimal charge. And then there are private labs that do it as well. Most of the soil testing companies and, and universities that are in the United States today and doing soil testing work uh, typically are using some type of an ag test or a modified ag test. Even though you might be sending it in for a turf or for your vegetable garden or for a tree or shrubs in your, on your landscape property, uh, the type of test, the, the methodology they're using is still more attuned for agricultural and not for ornamental horticulture or the landscaping market. There are about six or seven labs throughout the country uh, that do offer a different uh, methodology. They, they actually use a different protocol to test the soil. The difference is that the agricultural tests are quite good at telling you what nutrients are in the soil. The other tests uh, are actually designed in such a way to provide a level of information that tells you what nutrients are not just in the soil, but are actually available for the plant to use. And that is a big distinction between the two types, the ag type of test or the non-ag test. Very often, nutrients can be in the soil, and when you get the test back, it looks like everything should be okay, and yet, you know, and yet things are still not growing well. Well, it's because the nutrients can be in the soil, but not necessarily available for the plant to use. That can be because of poor pH, it could be a lot of different factors can uh, cause that situation to occur, but it's actually pretty common where there are nutrients in the soil that are locked up and unavailable for the plants to actually access and use. So the other types of tests are a little bit better in, and more specific in terms of the information they provide you and giving you a blueprint, if you will, on how to actually uh, take steps to actually improve the soil to support the plants that you want.